hi guys welcome back to my channel so um we're just gonna jump right back right into the video so i'm gonna start with my makeup if you guys watched my last video i told you guys that i had um, a date night so i'm getting ready now i'm gonna start off with some face spray and we're gonna give that time to dry and then from there i'm gonna proceed to my makeup um this is like a very lazy mom type makeup situation going on so if you guys did not catch my part one just go ahead and um make sure that you guys check that video out i'll probably have a link in my comments or my description bar so i'm just like i already put my face spray on uh wet my um real technique sponge and then from there i'm just gonna go and proceed to like you know put on like primer and things like that so i try to name all the products that i'm using like as i use them but like i said this is not a tutorial i just wanted to show you guys like how i like get dressed for like a date night like i said it's very lazy lazy cute mom you know little look that i go for um i didn't even like do everything like when i'm doing like full like glam i use way more steps than this but if i'm just trying to look cute and just presentable um then this is just mainly what i do like i might add a couple of steps but i try to keep it as minimal as possible because like i said um i don't be having like a lot of time well i do but i, I just don't be having time to like do all that makeup stuff so i just try to keep it as simple as possible um and like we were going to go out to have um well it was like an early date so we went to like this little brazilian um steakhouse and then we went to the movies um so you know i just wanted to look cute and i just wanted to look cute and do it in a lazy way possible and that's just basically what i'm doing all right so i'm going to use like this tinted moisturizer from bare minerals i got this from the bx off of like i don't know what maybe ten dollars I, I don't know it was on sale it's normally like 30 but it was on sale and i've always wanted to try bare minerals so when i put this on it's going to look super dark in this video i don't know why it looks dark like that but it does and so you're going to see me kind of like walk back and forth because as i'm looking in the bathroom mirror it looks like a perfect match but as i'm looking on the phone like because you know i record my videos on my phone i haven't got a camera yet well we have a camera but i just don't want to use it right now but anyway so like as i'm looking i'm like man like that made me like three shades darker so i'm trying to make sure that i wasn't tripping so i was going to be I'm, I'm looking back and forth from the phone until like a, a little mirror that's behind me because i'm like man that looks super duper dark but it wasn't dark like at all so here is like this is like a like when i want to do something fast i use this little concealer stick y'all and it works really good like i think i had to repurchase a new one but like i don't know i really like this thing when i'm trying to do something fast and i just want to like just put something on i'll use that or whatever but yeah but anyway i'm just going to continue to put on my makeup and things like that but um yeah yeah like i had to go back and make sure i'm like man why does it look like that in my camera i i, I don't know i was so like confused but whatever it didn't matter like i said it actually turned out really good so now i'm just going to use some more the same loose powder um that i had put on earlier before i did my makeup i'm gonna use that same loose powder and i'm just going to press it into my skin press it into my makeup so that my face my face kind of gets oily especially like in the summertime so i'm just going to try to like minimize a lot of that oiliness so i just put that on there and then um i'm going to take one of my fluffy um powder brushes and i'm just going to wipe like the excess off So here I was about to use um, the same face spray that I used earlier, but then I remembered, I was like, oh, I got my MAC Peppin Prime. The only thing is I had to find it. <laughs> so I was looking for it. But um, a lot of my makeup, y'all, is not organized, not like how it used to be, because like, like I said, I really don't um, wear makeup like that. 
so i'm showing you guys like how my brown lamination went i actually got that like the monday the day after mother's day so yeah there's my mac pep and prime um spray so here's how my eyebrows look i really like the procedure like i got my bright my brows done and i also got my eyelashes tinted and lifted and i really liked it like it wasn't it, it wasn't bad at all the only thing i will say is that i feel like the tint didn't last long because after you get it done you can't like do any put like any water or get your eyebrows wet or anything like that for 24 hours so um i didn't of course but like i feel like the tint just didn't last and then on top of that like you know um i've told you guys i told you guys um in a few other videos that i have like scar on my left eyebrow so of course like tint or anything like that isn't going to adhere to that area um so you know i mean it was fine like i i really like them um but if i do do it again which i'm pretty sure i will like i think this is something that i'm going to keep up maybe not like yeah i had got like that stuff stuck in my eye i hate it when i do that but anyway um this is going to be something that i keep up probably not like because i think you're supposed to wait she told me five weeks between each per each um time that you get it done but i'm probably not going to do it every five weeks like maybe like every few months or something like that but um i will probably just get my eyebrows laminated and not the tint but like i really like my eyelashes because you can't see these things unless i put like this is a primer that i'm putting on there now and it works really well like i have to put a primer and like a mascara on my eyelashes in, in order for you to see them so like the eyelash tint it just kind of like gave them like a little lip um it didn't really like give the, it doesn't give the effect that you have mascara on but at least like you can see my eyelashes and when i looked at the mirror like earlier today like the eyelashes still look really good so like i said I'm, I'm really happy about it um this is something that i think that i'm going to keep up and i'm glad that i found a little spot that um i can use So now I'm just going to proceed with my eyebrows and I'm just using the old eyebrow pencil. I don't even think I sharpened that thing. Matter of fact, I know I didn't sharpen it. So it's just an eyebrow pencil and I just want to put some little color on my eyebrows. Um, I didn't even like, normally I would outline them and all of that stuff, but I didn't even do that. I was just kind of like just filling them in, coloring them in and, you know, just giving a little appearance of them being, you know, kind of done. So um, that's what I'm doing now. Yeah, so now I'm just going to do like a little bit of contouring. I'm just going to, you know, highlight my, well, not highlight, but you know, like, like kind of like chisel out my cheekbones and a little bit on my nose and a little bit on my jawline, just a tad bit, just to kind of give the appearance of, you know, kind of like deepening my cheekbones a little bit more. And then I'm going to take my Real Technique um, brush and I'm just going to kind of like blend everything out so that everything doesn't look so harsh. Again, I want to thank you guys so much for clicking on my video today. Um, if you have not subscribed to my channel, make sure you subscribe. Again, my name is Alicia. My husband and I and our family are stationed in the UK. He's in the military. We'll be here for another couple of years. So really what I do on this channel is that I give you guys like a kind of like a little glimpse into my life. I do like some daily vlogs. I take you guys on a few shopping trips with me i do a lot of family things i might you know i do tons of cleaning and organizing and things like that so if you guys are really interested in you know um going with us on our journey make sure that you um subscribe to my channel and make sure that you like and comment too because apparently that is supposed to like boost your, like your little your little what is it boost your not rating but you know it's supposed to boost your channel i don't know just make sure that you like and subscribe to my channel Y'all, this um, mascara right here is like from Avon. Well, I got it off of Amazon UK. Um, I had to ask my mama because like 
Back in the gap, Avon had like this really, really dope mascara. It's called Astonishing Lints, I believe. Whatever it is that I put up on the screen. But yeah, so I had to, I was trying to look for it and I went to Amazon UK and I was able to find it. However, though, I thought that the one that we used to have back in the gap was in a black, um, a black bottle. So... It has the same name, maybe just new look, the same name type thing. But yeah, like I, that was the best mascara I had ever used. Like that one, and then this other um, studio, I think a studio mascara from Mac. But I think they don't even they discontinued that too. So it's like all the mascaras that worked for me, <laughs> they discontinued. So, um, but yeah, I just had to share that because like that that mascara there is like really good. And I really like it. So now I'm just gonna take like some some little highlight, and I'm just gonna highlight my nose put a little bit on my cheeks and in my eyes just you know just a little little bit like a little dab I ain't doing much like I said I'm just keeping this nice and simple so I'm just gonna throw that on my face real quick and then I'm gonna look for I was sitting here trying to figure out what else I needed to do and then I was like oh yeah I need to put like some type of lip gloss on so I'm going to look for my lip gloss and I'm gonna throw that on my lips Okay, so I finally was like, oh yeah, I need to put on lip gloss. And then I just showed you guys like this whole bag of lip glosses that I have. And I put this one, this is a NYX, NYX I think, NYX um, liquid suede one. And I really, really love those. Um, I put this one up, but I did not put the color on there. So I would try, I thought the color had, I thought the color were actual colors and not numbers. So I'll try to go back in here and look and see what number it has and put that on there too, because I was trying to look for the name, like the actual name and I couldn't find it. So I'll go back on there, um, go back and look and see what, what it is. But now I'm just going to like, um, brush my hair down. I had to take my flexi rise out. Cause if y'all remember in my last video, I had flexi rise in, but my husband wanted to run to the store and he wanted me to go with them. And I was like, Oh no, I have these flexi rise in. So I took the flexi rise out and I was going to like show them, show you guys like how I took the flexi rise out. And yeah, like, I didn't get to but yeah like I said the flexi rods they did what they supposed to do like my hair I, I wasn't mad at it like like I said I wasn't trying to be too perfect I just was trying to do something to, to you know let let it know let it be known and I'm not out here looking crazy that my husband actually has a wife and that you know she is this so I wanted to look you know a little done up but um so yeah so I, I had every intention on like styling my hair like putting it in a ponytail but after I took the wrap off and I moved it to the side I'm like oh yeah now nah, this is it I'm done like like I, like I said, I was being real lazy, but I wanted to be cute lazy. So yeah, that's all I did. I was going to put a clip in there, but I realized that I didn't need it. And so I'm just going to play around with it and then boom, I'm done. So I did not realize that my husband was recording me. So this is um, the Brazilian steakhouse that we went to. And so you got a little glimpse of my little outfit and I just had on like some leggings and um, a shirt and a cardigan um, sweater. So yeah, like these are pictures of the Brazilian Steakhouse and it was really good. The food was really amazing. So y'all, we went to this Everyman Cinema Theater type joint and it was freaking amazing. Like it was such a vibe. Like I really loved it. Like the, all the moodiness, like everything it was like a little lounge and you had different areas where you could sit in i've never heard of like a movie theater like this before but it was really cool like um even inside the theater they had like chairs that you sit in like lounge chairs it was such a vibe like i really 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 enjoyed it and like i said you guys if you guys are not subscribed to my channel and if you guys do not have your notifications on you really need to because i did a short of this and in my short everything was kind of like zoomed in a little bit too much so you guys didn't really get the full view on like what i'm showing you guys right now but yeah like i really enjoyed it i cannot wait to go back so i'm just now you know this is us leaving out of the movie and i'm just showing you guys like the different sitting areas like how everything looks and all the lighting and like it was just such a good little vibe and there's like the full bar area y'all it was so nice in there and then those are the stairs that you walk up to go um outside of the movie theater so yeah i just wanted to give you guys a little glimpse of um 
of like what we did because now we're about to get ready to go back home and yeah like it was just it was just such an amazing amazing mother's day like hands down my husband like did his thing this year So this is the next day. This is actually Mother's Day. And so this is my little TK Maxx haul. And I've been really sleeping on them. But y'all, look at this vase. Look at this vase. I, that thing was $19.99 um, pounds. And then I needed another little, a little organizer. I got these little marble coasters. I think those were like $2.99. And I think this organizer was $12.99. Because I just wanted to go to tk maxx because i saw that and i was like yo if you could just take me back to tk maxx so i can get that vase i would like love that and i actually got this rug it's from tesco um Tes tesco yeah and it's like a runner and then you guys to see like here now like i had it in the um i had it in the entryway but i think it, it, something wasn't clicking for me and so i guess it's because like the entryway um the entryway table there like the little the little light wood one and i think the runner was just clashing to me and so i was talking to my husband about it. i'm like hey don't they look a little bit too matchy matchy i don't know so i ended up moving it to the kitchen and that's where it is now but yeah like i really loved that i think that was like 20 20 pounds and so yeah like so now i'm just gonna show you guys where i'm going to put that drawer organizer that i have and i really love that thing too y'all it makes it so much easier um whenever we get in our silverware now so i'm just gonna take show you guys like how dirty that drawer is this is the old one that i had and like i would tell you guys a lot of these things and that's how it looks a lot of these things that are in my house y'all they have i have had these things for years and i really haven't changed it out I keep on telling my, I kept telling myself, I'm just going to wait till we get a house. I'm going to wait till we get a house, wait till we get a house. And I was like, you know what? No, I, small things like this, I can pick up on the way, you know, to get a house. And you see that white little drawer organizer there. I'm going to replace that one, but I, I want to actually try to find like little storage baskets that look kind of like um, what that drawer organizer look like. So I'm on a hunt for that. But yeah, like this is just, it's made my life so much easier because when you try to put the silverware in that metal thing that I had, yeah no it wasn't working and it was just it was a disaster my husband bought that silverware that has the black handle and it was just too much going on and it just didn't work so here um like i said i love the vase but like like little chalky stuff was coming off of the base so i called myself like just going to like wipe it down to kind of get some of that top layer stuff off of it but while i was wiping I noticed I, I couldn't figure it out I thought that I was like wiping some of the like some of the um, the top layer off of it and so I'm looking at the tile I'm like wait a minute am I wiping some of the stuff off and my husband told me he was like um I don't know if you want to wipe it he's like because you might kind of wipe or change the look of it and I was like no I think I should be fine so then like when I got scared and I thought started thinking that I was wiping it off I was just like okay well let me just dab the tile instead of wiping it i'm like let me just dab it so i'm trying to look in the trying to look in the camera trying to make sure i wasn't taking off too much of the top layer and i think i did because i'm going to show you guys my hand and that's the only reason why i want to like kind of like get that a little bit of it off it was because it was so chalky like every time you touch it you have the residue in your hand so then i just started taking and i just have water on that tile like i don't have anything else on there just water so then i just started like like dapping it like you see me making dapping motions instead of wiping motions and that worked a little better um it kind of like you know brought down my anxiety because i was freaking out at first but um now it really doesn't do that like i've moved it a couple of times and i don't have a residue on there too bad but yeah so in a minute i'm going to show you guys like what it um the residue that came off on my hands and like in my husband's car like that stuff is just everywhere but y'all like this facey look you can't tell like you can see a little bit on my hands but y'all this I, 1999 i also made a short about this too because i was just like obsessed with this thing and this this one and then i eventually made my husband <laughs> take me back like i wanted to go back like the next was this this is sunday i wanted to go back the next day to get the matching small one but he didn't take me the next day because he had a lot of stuff to do but he we did go back on tuesday and i bought the matching smaller one that goes with this y'all like i'm just obsessed like this thing i always see youtubers have be on like find like these really vintage beautiful faces and 
they get them from like these antique markets and thrift stores i'm not able to do stuff like that well at least like i don't know where they are just yet so when i see something like this i'm like okay i'm snagging it because this is like my vibe like i i love this but i've been so scared to buy stuff is because like you know we move a lot and i'm fearful that okay like is this thing gonna get broken when we move <laughs> like so like but i had to get out of that fear and just be like you know what i'm not gonna i'm not gonna worry about that if i like something i'm going to buy it but like yeah y'all like this is like one of my by far one of my favorite purchases and i'm slowly getting to the point to where i am decorating my house and buying things for my house that are like more like my style now because i was real like farmhousey you know but now i'm kind of getting out of that style and y'all like i'm just slowly just trying to pick up things that i know that i'm going to use in my future house so this is one of those staples and i just like really really love it it's in my it's like in my staircase right now but it's not gonna stay there um i, I you guys won't see in this video but i actually moved it downstairs to the entryway but i don't think i show you guys in this video but y'all like i just cannot express how much this thing is just i love it so then we went back to tk max and i saw this statue i saw her and i was like i want her and i showed my husband i'm like hey what you think and he was like yep i like it i'm like glad i'm like good because i love her so this is this is when we went back that um that tuesday and my daughter was playing with this little brush thing and i was like whatever i need it so i just let her grab it it kept her quiet in the store we needed some pink salt so we picked that up and i think that was like 3.99 or something and then i have been looking for a riser and I think this was the last one and this was $12.99. And like I said, I also did a short on this as well. So make sure that you guys hit your notification bell and you subscribe to my channel. And this, this is the matching one that I have that's paired with the big one, y'all. And I just, oh my gosh, I just love it. I'm sorry. I know I rambled a lot. Like I'm, I'm talking a lot on this voiceover, but y'all just, I need y'all to understand. Look at these prices. Like it just was amazing. Okay, so here I'm showing you guys how I had her style for the moment. I had her in the entryway, but I, she, the vibe, I, I, it, it wasn't vibing like I needed it to. So um, I am actually moved her and I put her inside the, um, I put it on my bookcase. I don't know if I have it in this video or not, but I'll show you guys. But I, I didn't leave her there because I felt like I needed something more welcoming there. But y'all, like, I absolutely love her. And um, I'm going to tell you guys a little later in the video. The reason why I picked her up is because, like, if I don't get stuff when I see it, it's not going to be there. So I was just giving you guys, like, a little glimpse of, like, how I have everything styled for the moment. But it does not look like that now. I'll probably give you guys an update in the um, in my next video. Okay, so I'm showing y'all how I have those faces style. So here they are. Excuse my stairs if you hear them. They're super cre um, creaky. But anyway, that is the Target Olive arrangement. They used to be in the entryway. So I put it here next to these two. Y'all, I love, love these. Like that small one, $7.99 pounds. That one was only $19.99, the big one. Like when I saw those, I was like, there's no way I'm leaving them in TK Maxx. There's no way. So I snatched them up real quick. And this is like a chair that we had for my, um, when we were stationed in Arizona. Um, it was some old chairs that they wanted to kind of get rid of. And I used like easy off spray and kind of removed like the orange tint that was on it or whatever stain and so this is how it came out i haven't sealed it or anything i haven't um stained it this is what um i just stopped because the day that i was doing this it was really cold and it was rainy and i was determined to get that to get it done so that's what it looks like right now i i don't know if i'm gonna stain it or leave it like that right now it's not bothering me but i do probably need to put some type of like sealing on it but y'all like these right here is giving me a whole like grease vibe that I really like grease vintage type vibe um I don't know I just think those are so pretty and this is really doing it for me but like I said this little area is really tight um and I of course I have like my tree here um 
I'm thinking about moving it upstairs. Um, I like it here, but like I said, I don't want too much going on. So I might move it upstairs. I'll show you guys where I'm thinking about moving it and then like take these and put them over there. But I don't know. I don't know. I really like this whole vibe. Let me see if I can get it at a better angle. I don't know. I'm just upset. Y'all, like, though, look at that. I cannot believe I got them for that price. Like, $19.99 pounds. I have to go back and look and see how many, like, dollars that is. But, y'all, that is so crazy. And even, like, my statue in the entryway, she was only $19.99, too. And I just, the reason why I picked them up is because, well, the statue, the one that's in the front, um, I'm pretty sure it's actually a planner, but we're not gonna use her as that. So we had, we saw, me and my husband, we saw like a torso or whatever. And we were like, okay, we'll just come back and get it or something like that. Y'all, we went back to get that thing and it was gone. So I was like, no, whenever I see something now, I'm just gonna get it. So, okay, so excuse my house, it's like super messy. I haven't cleaned, um, but yeah, I'm thinking about putting that tree here. The only thing is like, everybody comes through here because there's the kid's bathroom. My daughter wears this blanket and the blanket gets the little moss stuff trapped on it and she tracks it all throughout the house and I'm yelling at her to constantly clean it up. So this is probably what I'm going to be doing today, cleaning these stairs, because I, I picked up some of it yesterday, but yeah, it all comes from here. It's very annoying. But anyway, I just wanted to show you guys that. Um, my kids are yelling at me, they're hungry, so I'm about to get them something to eat, and yeah. Yeah, look how crazy my house looks right now. Like, look how dirty it is. And I'm probably just about to hurry up and like just do like a small little quick clean while the kids are are eating. But anyway, I came here to show y'all this. This actually came from TK Maxx too. And I believe this one was 30, 30 pounds. Yeah, but I love this. And this is one of the first things that I, this is actually like my first time going to TK Maxx and I snagged it. These, um, Stems are actually from Amazon. I probably have them linked because they are so pretty. Look at how pretty these are. Well, that like I like them. I love them. And I've I've been seeing people um, with similar stems. I don't know if these these are the exact same ones, but I've been seeing people with similar stems, and I wanted to try them out. And I think it's only three in here. And then I saw at first I only had like this is a real tree branch here. At first I only had like this tree branch in there. But it was looking really bare. Cause you know, like some people were just like decorating with tree branches. But like I had the tree branches and then I added these stems, y'all. So pretty. And that's why I have it here. This was in my entryway too, but I just really love to look at this. And I also love to look at those other bases. That's why I'm like, okay. Okay, Kaya, hold on, honey. That's why I'm like, um, I, I don't know. Like I like the way things are, but I don't leave anything this like i don't leave anything so um but yeah i just wanted to show y'all that because i don't even think i think i got this before i started my channel i think i'm not sure but i know i never really talked about this but yeah another tk maxx fine which I, which like i said it's like a tj maxx but here in the uk at first i was ordering all of my things off of tj maxx and sometimes my things would come broken like i ordered this really really nice um I don't even remember what it was, but it was cement and I was going to use it as a utensil holder and that thing arrived broken. Miles, get down, but no. So anyway, let me go tend to these kids real quick. But yeah, I just want to show y'all that. Okay, just want to give a little bit of an update. Um, my goal today was to tackle the stairs at least. So I did. Like I said, I wish I had like a spot cleaner. I have a shampooer, but that's going to be kind of hard to shampoo the stairs. But anyway, so I did. So I eventually moved it. Like I told y'all, I don't leave nothing. So that's there. And then I moved these to this side. I don't know how long it's gonna stay there. I mean, I like it. Um, that tree was kind of blocking this light. This is the only light I'd be really having in this hallway. I need to get some lights to go on the wall 
like I have up here. I'll show you guys in a minute. But um, yeah, so I did vacuum the stairs, um, vacuum the edges. Um, there is my vacuum cleaner that my son has been destroying. I need a new vacuum cleaner, y'all. Look, I have, she, this comes off. So we kind of like taped it up so that it doesn't come off. But yeah, I need a new vacuum cleaner. I want a cordless one, but I don't want just any cordless one. I want one that's going to be like powerful or as powerful as they can be. Cause I need to be able to reach out of the couch, stuff like that. Cause Stella doesn't go under the couch. But anyway, so here's the tree right here. Um, so it doesn't look bad. Um, and that's the bathroom there. But like I said, I concerned that they're gonna run into this. I don't know. We'll see. It was a whole desk right here. So they didn't really, well, my son, he used to bump his head on it, but we got it down to the garage. So I don't know. So this is what you see when you come down the stairs. So this is like the view from down the stairs. Like I said, I like these vases so much that I want to move them to this side, but I feel like that chair over here kind of like, like I said, it's not a lot of space, but I don't know. I'm thinking about moving these to my entryway, like, but I don't know. Um, let me show you guys what that looks like. Um, like I said, I haven't really cleaned the house. The house, I mean, it's okay, but I really wanted to tackle the stairs. I mean, let me show you how the entryway. So I have that plant there, um, which I like it because of the size, but I, like I said, I DIY that. They have like a little weave basket on there. I put the rope around there. That little uh, pedestal bowl there came from Tesco. And like I told you guys, that came from Target. And those books um, came from Amazon. So this is how it looks now. Um, I don't know. I feel like when I had the statue here, it was just, it wasn't very welcoming to me. So I needed some type of greenery here, which is why I like greenery here. I might just take this and move it to this chair upstairs, especially since I took the tree and just put that back in the entryway because I really like that in the entryway. My, I could tell right now my son is destroying the... Anyway, so I moved her up here. I like her up here. Um, those two vases, well that I made that out of a pickle jar and like a plastic thingy and then I that was originally like oh give me a second guys yeah anyway so um I DIY that but I need to, I have mosh posh and I'm gonna put on it to kind of like use as a sealant I'm not sure if I want to leave this like that or not and then that believe it or not I I think my son is bringing it back and putting it downstairs Anyway, I got that out of a box and I plan on putting concrete around it because I thought it was really pretty. So they just came out of like a box that I bought pots and pans out of. And I'm like, I'm going to use that. So I want to um, make it into like concrete because I have some concrete and I want to like put concrete around it to kind of make it harden. So yeah, that's what everything is looking like now. Um, my kids are crying and being crazy. So you guys let me know. Um, what you guys think about everything. Um, I'm probably going to end this vlog here because I, I vacuumed the stairs and I did all that stuff, but I didn't bring you guys with me because it's just been so hectic. So you guys just let me know your comments um, down below and I'll talk to you guys later. Bye. Mm -hmm.